today I want to talk about Core i5 processors, which are largely the domain of gamers that aren't really doing a lot of extra things like streaming or video productivity, that sort of thing. These are the people that are just gaming. And I want to let you know why I think the i5-7500 is a better option for you than the i5-7600K if you're building a new system. Stay tuned. Shout out to the YouTube channel Benchmark with the video that is located over my shoulder and the link for that video is in the description and that's because I do not have an i5-7500 or an i5-7600K but there are plenty of benchmarks online both in article format and video format. The benchmarks I'm using for the sake of this video come from the video over my shoulder and if you want to check out their full benchmarks, because there are several more than just the ones that I picked out, you can go to that link again down in the description below. Now the titles I went ahead and looked at are all very representative of sort of the comparison that I saw between the two processors when looking at both these benchmarks and other benchmarks across the internet. The reason I'm using this particular video is because it actually has the i5-7600K overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz, which should give it a healthy advantage over the i5-7500. Even so, we never really saw those returns in game. In fact, at 1080p, which is where all these benchmarks were run settings wise, the 7600K really never pulled more than a few frames per second ahead in any of the benchmarks, not just the ones I picked out either. It, it was pretty much across the board. The, the, the five that I picked here in the graph are very indicative of what I saw from all the benchmarks. And again, I encourage you to look at those and also look at other benchmarks across the internet. The other side to this whole performance versus price scenario is that with the i5-7500, you can put yourself on the H270 chipset, which allows you to limit the cost even a little bit more over the $40 price difference that already exists between the processors. And the big reason that I really would encourage you if you're building your own system and it's strictly for gaming to go with the i5-7500 instead of the 7600K comes down to reallocating some of that money. You can either be buying an extra game or two with the money, or more importantly, you could take that $40 plus that you saved, in fact, it's actually closer to 50 looking at motherboard cost, and buy yourself a better graphics card. For example, that $45-ish range is the difference between a GTX 1060 3 gigabyte edition versus a 6 gigabyte card. Or if you're an AMD fan, it's the difference between an RX 480 4GB and 8GB card. That's where the price will actually gain you more frames per second than the CPU will, at least in the vast majority of modern titles. Now, I don't want it to be misconstrued that I'm saying there's no place in the market for the 7600K. I am just pointing out that if you are building a gaming PC and you're on somewhat of a budget here and you're trying to make your dollar go as far as possible in terms of getting as many frames per second as possible in modern AAA games, you're still better off going with an i5-7500 than you would be with going an i5-7600K because you can reallocate money, if nothing else other than saving money, you can reallocate money into getting a slightly better graphics card which will pay better dividends in the frame side of things than it would getting a 7600K. So if you like my reasoning, then give me a like down below, share, subscribe, all those things are super helpful. You can also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. In addition, I am really curious what you guys think about my rationale. Do you think there is a place for the 7600K even though maybe it won't give you the best bang for your buck? If so, let me know in the comments down below, or maybe you agree with me. Also, let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna let YouTube queue up something over here on the card to my left. I'm Shane from Hoosier Hardware. I'll see you guys in the next video.